I'm Kayla Martinez here with head coach Dan Deager. Thank you so much for your time today. Now, to start off in tonight's game, your team won two to one today. Um, what was your game plan coming into tonight's game? Well, we knew they were going to be a difficult opponent to deal with in transition. Um, so it was important that while we were in possession of the ball, that we managed the space as well, um, because they have some very dangerous players. Uh, but we wanted to be just ourselves, you know, and, and dictate the rhythm of the game, dominate possession, try and move them side to side and create spaces for us to score. And of course, the guys scored two excellent goals. And what aspects of your team's performance do you think was most important um, in leading them to securing tonight's goal? Well, Houston do some interesting things with their outside backs and their wingers. So they kind of tilt the field at times and bring extra players inside. And I think your guys did a good job of communicating and solving that problem. Um, and again, just managing those transitional moments both with the ball and without the ball. And in the first half, you guys were up in the lead by one point until Houston FC were eventually able to um, catch up. Um, later on in the second half, what dynamic or strategy was used to change? To be honest, not much, not much change for us. You know, at halftime, we said, you know, more of the same. You continue to move the ball and circulate it side to side and get them tired. Uh, and those moments will appear. So stay patient. And you've been with the Earthquakes for some time now. And this is your second year being the head coach for the Town FC. Um, what are some improvements that you noticed from this season as compared to last season? I think the group is very united. You know, it's one of our core values is unity. Um, but they're united, they're resilient. Um, it's a talented group. Some older guys, some younger guys. But I think it's a great mix and great fund uh, of players and, and also staff. It's absolutely an amazing job. Uh, our goalkeeper coaches, our assistant coaches, athletic trainers, and everyone's been a really important part of team success. And from a player recruitment type of point of view, what would say what would you say is something that you look for when it comes to recruiting players? That's a great question. Um, you know, we do have a distinct style of play in game model, so we want to have player profiles that fit that style of play. Uh, New York Academy does an excellent job in identifying recruiting good players that come through the academy uh, and ultimately come through the town before into the first team. Uh, so we, you can see that with our team now. A lot of guys that come through the academy. So credit to those coaches, you know what I mean, and, and, our, and our methodology proper for helping them to where they are now. Um, but yeah, in terms of style of play, I mean, we, we like to keep the ball, we like to dictate the rhythm of the game, we like to, to break lines and create chances. Uh, we like players that are, that are high pressing and willing to take risks. Um, so those are some important facets for us. And the Town of C is currently ranked third in the Western Conference. What do you think has been most successful um, throughout most of their games throughout the, throughout the whole season? You know, we, we're not the most high-scoring team, but we do have uh, the most least, least amount of goals against in the whole league. So if you don't get scored on, uh, it's going to be tough to beat. And we've been very good in our in our pressure uh, with the ball, uh, but when it comes to the box defending and our goal keeping, we're very solid this year. Thank you so much for your time. Mm -hmm. yep.